Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here in Heidelberg, Germany, and I'm here with Bob Murphy from General Atomics. How are you doing today, Bob? I'm doing great, Rich. Great to see you again. Well, yeah, it is. It's been a while since we worked together at Sun, yeah. but uh, you're back in the storage business for HPC. What, what do you got going on? Well, I work at General Atomics, and we create uh, a product called Nirvana, which uh, the best way to describe it, it uh, adds application-specific metadata, user-specific uh, metadata, to uh, data-intensive workflows, workflows like life sciences, uh, oil and gas ex exploration, media entertainment, uh, government intelligence. And what's happening in, in, in these fields, as, as you know, is uh, uh, the amount of data that they're capturing because the, the resolution of the sensors is increasing, the number of sensors out there is increasing, is just becoming uh, bigger and bigger. And the storage industry has accommodated that by being able to provide very uh, low cost, highly scalable storage systems like Lustre and GPFS and Isilon. But the problem is as uh, 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 more and more data is being stored in these systems, um, the basic meta file based metadata that's in these systems is very small. They have things like username or the name of the file, the user that created it, when it was, la when it was created and last uh, accessed. And that's simply not enough to uh, keep track of all that data. So what customers want is you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 pieces of uh, user-specific, workflow-specific metadata to ta tag onto that data and follow it through the workflow as the, as the data is processed and transformed. And then down the road, be able to find it again uh, 10, 20, 30 years later. So that, yeah, that's what yeah. we do. Okay, so that's that's really the, the end game here is finding the data, right? And yeah, tagging it properly. The needle in the haystack. Yeah. That's that's the problem. You, we hit, we hit, we call it uh, uh, customer generated data junkyards. They create petabytes and petabytes of data over the years from multiple users, multiple projects, and they don't even know what's in those uh, data junkyards anymore. And, are, and they are afraid to remove them because they think it might be valuable. So what they what are, what customers are, keep doing is buying more and more storage to. Add, to just add to that. Look at you, and you know that in your own yeah, personal, yeah, yeah. personal business. Videos yeah. chew up a lot of, and every yeah. file is the same yeah. Yeah. same name on yeah. it. Yeah, and you don't know which one to use, yeah. which yeah. one to keep, and, and that's the problem. So these, these types of systems that we create uh, uh, can actually help uh, customers find the data that they're looking for, find the data that's no longer valuable, move it off to tape, um, or down the road, uh, you know, 10, 20 years later, go out and find, find the data again. One of the best uh, examples of these use cases is the field of astronomy, the Hubble Space Telescope. Um, uh, they, that thing has been up in space since 1990, and over the decades, they, they tagged all the data coming down from the telescope with very specific uh, metadata. And an example is that today, there's more research papers uh, being published from the Hubble Space Telescope from data done 10 and 20, 25 years ago than there are in what they call current observations, the, the data that's coming down right now. It's all because of the uh, metadata. And uh, in the field of uh, the exact opposite, the field of uh, uh, oil and gas exploration. That's been around for like 50 years, as you know. And they didn't have these advanced metadata tools to track all the data that they were collecting from seismic surveys all around the world. And as you know, and, and your readers know, that uh, now uh, with all these advanced uh, techniques to uh, get uh, more uh, hydrocarbons out of the, out of the ground, uh, they would love to be able to go back to all that data that they uh, surveyed years ago and, and go back and process it again to see if there's more oil in the ground. And they never, use, they just had basic file names uh, uh, mm. and they put a little bit of metadata in the file name, but it, uh, they just can't go back and, 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 and uh, f f uh, go back and, and find the right data now because they never really tagged it with the right data in the yeah. first place. Okay. so. so you guys, do you have to buy a, uh, the whole storage system from you guys, or do you work with the existing systems? We work with the existing systems. We yeah. latch on to a, a, a GPFS file system, or a Lustre file system, or a ZFS file system, mm -hmm. and then we uh, uh, can scan the metadata that's in there, scan the files that are in there to populate our, our metadata structure. Or on ingest, uh, we can tag all this elaborate data uh, that, as it's newly being created uh, in the system. And uh, uh, we put it in what we call a metadata catalog, and that has all, uh, for every piece of data, there's a row of, yeah. of data and, and multiple uh, pieces of metadata for that, uh, tagged to that piece of data. And then finally, uh, there's a uh, relational database like Oracle or Postgres that uh, keeps track of everything and allows us to do queries and things like that.